Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we took on Survival Pool Hard. Um, so we are almost done with all of the survival modes, we only have three left. And today we're going to be taking on Survival Fog Hard. So we'll get right into it. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I plan to handle this. Um... Because this is kind of a more difficult one, I think. Um, cattails are definitely very useful because if you can plant them, then they can attack the zombies for the first couple of um, waves. So that way you don't have to worry about like them ruining things. <laughs> so they're definitely good to have. Um, uh, I think I can... Mm, I think I'll go with the Gatling Peas, because I think we'll probably be fine. If I have the- if I have like two cattails, we'll probably be fine with the bucket heads, and that's really the biggest concern at the moment. So I think that'll be okay. So it's just a matter of getting out enough sunflowers at the beginning so we can actually, um, produce sun. And actually start getting things built up. But we can pretty much live off of pastrooms at the moment. The zombies are can coming. we see what lane they're in? I feel like I saw movement from the second lane, but I can't tell. Oh, would you look at that? I was correct. Thanks. I'm so good at this game. I feel like it's been a little while since the last sun. You gonna spit one out? Thank you. Bottom lane. Cool, cool. Alright, this should be basically alright. Part of adjusting in my seat and making a lot of noise, I'm sure. I can still hear when he is. <laughs> See his face. His teeny little face through the fog. I should probably try and focus on getting another, um... Getting a twin sunflower, but honestly, it's just like... They pr they're producing the sun so slowly that it's like... I'm struggling to even, like, get enough to replace one. Um, I'll put down a lily pad. Alright, cool, cool. So we got the one twin sunflower down, so now what we can do, I guess, is just focus on... Putting down two more sunflowers, just so that way, um, we'll have as many sunflowers as we need for right now. And then I'm gonna focus on trying to get, um, whatever they're called, uh, some cattails. That'd probably be good. There we go. And that'll help significantly. I guess I can just start focusing on uh, getting out the uh, repeaters. Oh wait, we got another twin sunflower. Gotta put those out first. Cause we'll be good with just the cattail for right now, I think. So it's just mostly a matter of. Uh... That certainly sounds like a con ad, but. I'm going to put the repeaters on this lane, just because I know I'm going to want to put out a... Yeah, there we go. That's exactly where I wanted to put it. Okay, we're good. Down another repeater. Twin 
sunflower. I'd probably focus on trying to get another uh, 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 cattail. I probably should do that just so that way I don't have to bring it again next level. Can I get one more sun, please? Thank you. Put a classroom there just to help buy us a little bit more time. You know, as one does. Put a repeater there. Switch to firepower, and with three things, like six things firing on it, it'll probably be fine. Just replace the classroom for right now. Um, get out the first Gatling key, I guess. Just that way we can save time with the recharge. Now yeah, another twin sunflower. Should probably see if I can get the second planter now. There we go. Okay, for Gucci. You're doing just fine. Peter, because the puff strings aren't going to be a lot of help for a little bit. Get a second Gatling P out. Get another twin sunflower if we can get another 50 sun. Please. Thank you. Get that coin. Get a Peter, because they can fire farther, and then also two at once, so that's just useful in general. Alright, we got repeaters in every lane, so we should be fairly good. Focus on getting out some tall nuts, because we want to make sure we don't waste too much time. Get another Gatling key, so I should probably focus on getting that all signed up. Put the Gatling keys in the pool, because with the waves coming up in the middle of it, probably a good idea to try and get that in a row. That is pretty close. Uh, another repeater in the pool, I guess. Will we be able to get the Captain Gun? Yes. There we go. Alright, we're actually doing pretty well. I'm feeling pretty good. Alright, since we have the cattails, we don't need to worry about the balloon zombies, because the cattails will pop the balloons, um, which is very, very useful. Um, so cattails are fantastic, because they're, comparatively to how much like work they put in, they are very, very cheap. Uh, get some twin sunflowers, tall nuts, pumpkins. Uh, we'll do magnet shrooms, even though there aren't any... We'll do torchwood, at least. Um, I guess we could do... Nah, we don't, probably aren't gonna need blowers. You know what, I'm gonna forego the magnet shrooms at the moment, because... Okay, so I'm planning to put them, like, alongside the lanes with the planterns, but because we don't have any metal zom or zombies with, like, metal right now, I'm probably going to forego them in favor of spike weed and spike rock, just so that way we can deal a little bit more extra passive damage. And I don't really think we'll need anything else. The only thing we'll need to really deal with would be the, um, uh, uh balloon zombies, but because we have, uh, the stupid, uh, whatever they're called, 
Whatever they are. You know what I'm- you know- you know the thing that I'm talking about. Just put a pump in there just cause, you know. Try and get them out, and then I can start putting down some s Torque would probably be good, just so that way we get the, uh, splash damage and spike rock- or not spike rock. Torchwood does, in fact, make them- does give you some splash damage to the back, which is very, 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 very beneficial. We can almost get another Gatling gun. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Get another pumpkin. You get another twin sunflower. We're actually doing pretty good, I think. Get a spike rock on that. And with those disco zombies, I should probably try to put a pumpkin on my whatever they're called. My planters. Keep them safe. Gatling P. Ooh, I keep missing all the money. Probably driving y'all crazy and being like, oh my god, you're missing all that money. I'm like, yeah. I just forget about it because I'm so used to using just gold magnets to pick everything up. <laughs> um, fine, turn on that just to be safe. The one good thing about the balloon zombies spawning over the pool is that when they get popped, they literally can't- they literally just die. Oh my god. Ah! Coins! Sunflowers on everything, so we should be going. Um, we should be pretty alright. Um, put a torch with there. Just help out just a little bit. Alright, then I'm gonna get one more pumpkin. Just for that lane. Alright, we're actually doing pretty good. Save up for another Gatling piece since we have the charge ready. God, I love Gatling V so much. Okay, I just get one more torch lid. things. Ah! Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, so now I can probably bring- actually, we don't even really need to bring the stupid, uh, magna germs, because- <laughs> Alright, well, we're done with the torchwood row, so as long as we bring pumpkins, we'll probably be alright. Um, spike weed, spike rock, repeater, and gatling peas, because we need to finish that. Bring tall much, just in case we need to replace anything. Um, we don't need cattails, and we don't need twin sunflowers anymore, so... Um... Yeah, that's more or less everything that we need to bring, so I guess we can bring something like a cherry bomb, just in case we need to uh, get rid of some zombies fast. We're doing pretty good, honestly. Probably one of the smoother runs of this... <laughs> 
probably wouldn't just made this a runs of a of a uh, survival level level that I've had since uh, historically uh, y'all know how I am. If you have not seen the previous videos, you probably should watch them because they um, some of them were not great. All right, the next cat we pee out. Alright, now we can focus on... There we go. Alright, so we got all of the computers down, so we just need to start filling in the rows with them. Um, Gatling keys, and then just get the rest of the pumpkins. Um, we'll put the last pumpkin there, and I'm gonna start putting um, some pumpkins alongside the uh, whatever they're called, like along this or the the, the first lane of uh, Gatling peas, just because of a. Uh, I know we'll probably see some gargantuars, I bet. I would not be surprised. I would not put it past this game. Funny. Alright. What else? Alright. Just because I know this game will- Oh, I didn't need to put it there. Oh well. It's fine. So, like, I just know this game will be cool and will throw very chores at me because why wouldn't it? <laughs> um, place that pull nut because it's a little crunched. Uh, we got our magnet shrooms down. We've got. Yeah, I think we've pretty much gotten everything. We just need to put down that last spike weed. Now it's just a matter of putting down the rest of the spike rock and the last gallon because we have got that last one on the top that needs to be upgraded. Which I would be very, very sad if the game did not shard that last thing. Like, look at it, it's so close. I don't need to bring it. Although I probably will still bring the Gatling keys and the repeaters just because, like, I don't really need that many plants. Oh yeah, we got it. We're good. Like that tall nut because it's a little crunched. Got a little bit of a reserve on the sun. Oh my god, there's too many things to click. But yeah, we are doing just fine. Uh, we do have digger zombies, so those could present a problem for us. Um, the benefit, though, uh, with the cattails is that if they do somehow make it to the end of the thing, they will not be able to eat our um, plants. So I'm gonna do... we got the repeaters and the gatling peas, we got pumpkins, tall nuts. Um, I'll bring the torchwood and that, because that's basically everything, I think. So yeah, I feel like the magnet shrooms will probably grab them before they get all the way to the end, so hopefully our sunflowers will be alright, but I don't know. I just mostly want to get the pumpkins out, um, but I'm bringing all of these along just in case something does get eaten, we'll be able to replace it. At least, we should be able to. It's just mostly a matter of getting the pumpkins to recharge. Because those things have a very, very slow recharge time. Is that walnut. But yeah, we're burning through these guys. Alright. 
going to start emphasizing putting... Pumpkins on grass lanes, because basically, the only reason we need pumpkins is up to this point is because the zombies can pop up from there. I'll just completely reinforce that lane, just why not? Just so that way we don't... Because it's like unpredictable, so it's probably better to try and reinforce a single lane than like, kind of do an average thing, because like, then there's always going to be a weak point that they can exploit, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's not good. Glad I caught that. That is also very much not good. Oh boy, he made it to a sunflower, he made it to a sunflower, he made it to a sunflower. Oh, thank god he didn't eat that one. Oh, that would have annoyed me. Oh god, that was way too close. I'm putting, a sun I'm putting a pumpkin on that one. It's probably like a single bite away. Oh. No, 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 no. Not a digger, not a digger, not another digger. No. Okay, good. Well, we'll be fine then. As long as they grab them. Oh, that's not good. Oh, thank god. We are getting lucky with where they're getting pulled. As long as our magnet shrooms kind of put away our thing, yeah, we'll be fine, we're fine. Ugh. Not a thing. <laughs> that poor sunflower is probably like a single bite away. Oh, I feel so bad for it all the way up in that corner. <sighs> Good thing is that we don't have to deal with the jiggers anymore, so we don't have to worry about <laughs> we don't have to worry about them eating our plants and just popping up in the middle. That is the one downside. Um, but yeah, just in case somehow things get eaten, I guess. They're good. They're just zombies. Coming. <sighs> now, if I had six magnet shrooms, I'm sure that probably would have gone a good bit smoother, but maybe not, because there were a lot of screen door zombies. I gotta say though, twin sunflower in the corner, he's a trooper. He's a trooper, god bless him. <laughs> but yeah, we just more or less have to wait. If it wasn't for the screen door zombies, it'd probably go a lot faster than we wouldn't need to worry about them, kind of. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like screen doors have like more resistance than like a normal thing. Like they're even stronger than like a bucket head or something. I'm not entirely sure. But it feels like. That's what it feels like. That's how it feels in my soul. Okay, cool. We only need one more pumpkin to basically have our grass lanes safe. Zombies are getting. 
happening. <laughs> One downside with the cattails is that they both target the same one zombie, so like, if they just targeted separate ones, then they'd be able to like, do it a lot faster. Or they'd be able to take it, take care of things much better because they could be targeting different things, you know? waiting on them. And it's kind of funny, the uh, spike rocks I think are killing the screen door zombies faster than the the Gatling piece. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> yeah, these strategies are not, like, the way I've been doing it, mostly the same, because they're just, you know, you really have to, like, burn through. Although I am surprised that we didn't see any gargantuars. Although I guess on the fog level would be, expe like, especially uh, challenging, but, you know, I'm glad that they did. They were kind. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, or leave a comment, whatever feels good for you. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode, where we take on Survival Roof Hard. See you guys then.